What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot here over on OpenSecrets.org. Uh, I really like this page. I've been doing videos on it for many years. Uh, this is a great page if you like to find out anything financial that's going on in politics or with government. So, uh, I mean, you could find out pretty much anything. This this could destroy a political party or even just one particular politician. So uh, I urge everybody to come on over here, check out uh, some of the headlines and whatnot. One million dollar mystery gift to Trump inauguration traced to conservative legal activists. So today, uh, here in the middle of New York, president showing up. I think the only reason that he's showing up is for the NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act. Money, money, money. That's what it's all about, you know, especially when it comes to Trump. And, you know, I don't trust any politician, left, right, middle. I don't give a damn because, folks, I was actually going to, you know, I wanted to get involved in politics. I was even, you know, planning, you know, sometime in the future to possibly be governor. That's serious. You know, I was real, I'm real serious. I'm still real serious about politics. And uh, it's one of the main reasons I got out of that field and focused on journalism because I found out in order to even get past the city level of politics, you got to sell out. You got to be corrupt. And, you know, it's all about shitting on another party or another person running against you, which I think is pretty shitty in itself. Because all these politicians should be focused on helping the country, no matter what fucking party you're for. This isn't the NFL, you know, we're not one team going against another, we're all Americans. Everyone should be focused on the same goal, not focused on who can screw over the fucking country and the people better. So today Trump's coming to Utica. And uh, like I said, I'm very sure that it's the only reason he's doing it is for the NDAA. He's going to re-sign that. But uh, Anthony Brindisi, uh, he's an assembly member here in Utica. He's running for the New York State Assembly uh, or something or other. But I want to, <laughs> he's raised almost $2 million, but uh, I want to. Put this one out there real quick. He's hosting a fundraiser today to counter an appearance by Claudia Tenney. And well, <laughs> well, Tenney's ticket prices are ten are one thousand dollars up to fifteen thousand dollars. Brindisi is selling his tickets for ten bucks. <laughs> I'm not really sure where Trump's going to be, but, um, you know, national security. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be somewhere in New Hartford, uh, which is in Utica. So, you know, I don't know. But uh, donations have been reported throughout the end of June, and the next deadline is October 15th. So here's another reason why I believe he's coming here. The 22nd Congressional District covers Madison, Oneida, Cortland, and Shenango counties and portions of Oswego, Brome, Herkimer, and Tioga counties. So pretty much the whole fucking upstate. So, you know, it's just all to, it's money and it's votes. And that's what it's all about. 
And uh, so come on over here to openseekers.org. Um, if you go through some of my other videos on Permanent Patriot on YouTube, you will see, um, you know, I actually go through this page on many videos and show you how to um, manage it, you know, go through it and whatnot. Uh, here's a good one that you might want to check out, the Dark Money site. Um, you can go through personal finances, um, expenditures. All right, but let's check out. I don't not, I don't want to go through this whole thing or anything because it's such an extensive page. But you know, just to show you pretty much how it works, how dark money groups work, top election spenders. Okay. Now, when you come in here, you go to the top donors. Okay. And it will tell you the organization, the total, the type, and the period of which they donated for. So, Freedom Partners Chamber of Commerce gave the most uh, in this particular period three hundred and twenty three million dollars from november of 2011 till december of 2014. now you can obviously you know look up uh more recent expenditures but um you know it's just an example So that's how that works. And you can even do this um, by person. Let me show you what I mean, if I could find it. Like I said, uh, now this will tell you about the election cycles, okay? Which is very good to know. And probably learn you real quick. Why Chad doesn't vote. Now, many people will think if you don't vote, you're part of the problem. No, if you vote, you're part of the fucking problem. And if you think I'm lying about that, then you don't know a, a fucking thing about election fraud. Okay, if you don't vote, you call them out. You're putting them on blast. They got no fucking way. If nobody votes, there's no way that they can pull off election fraud. Hello, McFly. So, NRA Institute of Legislative Action, okay, $35 million. There is the ruling date, it's a 501c4 which most of these are as opposed to a 501c3 like a church or something that gets you know is a non-for-profit group but still gets money from donors and from the poor schmucks that go into church every sunday and put money in the collection plate for a non-for-profit and uh you know if you're not if you're a non-for-profit and you know you're pulling in fucking two three million dollars a year what are you spending the money on? Certainly not for the fucking fair that's going on from August 17th to August 23rd. Where are they spending the money? Here's where they're spending the money. In order to be a 501c3, you got to be a not-for-profit, like a church. Where are they going to send the money back? They're going to send it back to the the people that they want elected okay so this will also tell you if they're irs exempt okay and uh how this works is um i've been doing this for years and i haven't paid taxes in years now how this works is 
when you go to fill out your tax refund or whatever, you claim exempt. And it's very easy. The way that you do this is if you made $35,000 last year, as long as you make less than that amount the year after, you know, $34,999, you're tax exempt. It's that fucking simple. Okay. Very easy to be tax exempt. And now you know how the fucking, all the millionaires and billionaires do that shit. So, you know, that's just for dark money. Now you go to the presidential one, it will show you the same thing that I just went through. Who's giving the money out? Where are they getting the money from? Okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, and he spent not even close to the fucking amount that Hillary did. And have you folks noticed that the presidential seat goes Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. You haven't fucking figured that out by now? Don't take a fucking genius to find out who's going to win the next elections. Which, by the way, you know, Al Gore should have won the president seat. When he was going against Bush. So they'll tell you, you know, if you know, just click on them. It'll go through the same damn thing. Show you who gave them the money. Financial disclosures. Okay. Go to the super PAC donors. And certainly this one. Lobbyist donors. And folks, lobbyist is just another name. It's a, it's a political name for a briber. That's exactly the definition of a lobbyist. It's a briber. So everyone's like, you know, Obama's like, I'm not going to use any lobbyists. And everyone's like, yay. Uses more fucking lobbyists than any president ever combined. You fucking morons. He just got more bribes than the other schmuck. That's all. Which, by the way, politician, in layman's terms, is uh, more or less somebody spending money to uh, gain power for their own particular agenda personal or particular agenda. That's what a fucking politician is. Okay, go and look up the, the term politician. Don't read the first one. Forget the first one. Read the second part. Where it talks about a politician being a grimy fucking slime ball who's out for their own agenda. And since we're on that topic, let's talk about term limits. Okay, you're supposed to be Joe Schmo. You want to run for office. And, you know, you get in office. You're there four years, eight years, two years in cases of uh, senators and whatnot. You get in there, you do your job, and you get the fuck out. You go back to being a, me a mechanic or a fucking mailman. That's it. You're done. There's no career politicians. Obviously, there is. There's people who have been in fucking government for over 30 years. That's not how it works. You know why it works? Back to the fucking dollar. So, you really want to know how your government works? 
take your ass over here to opensecrets.org and then talk to me about voting and about lobbyists and about where all your fucking money's going instead of looking like a fucking fool and believing what they tell you on television because they know most people won't go and look this shit up. <laughs> Inform, empower, and advocate. This is what I'm doing. We follow the money, we make it possible. Regularly cited writers, CNN, Politico, Fox News, New York Times. All news agencies that are in the fucking toilet right now because people are finding out that they're bullshitters. They all work for the government. To keep this shit here away from you. They'll tell you half truths. Folks, when, when people are running for office, how often do you hear about the fucking money that they spend? Or who they're getting it from. They call it the left. And the right. For a reason. Get into more of that on another video. However. Just wanted to uh. Give you some news that you should know that they don't tell you. Again, news, the news doesn't want you to know. Okay. Hope you guys will check that out. Supposed to have a bunch of rallies up here today. Hope everybody stays civil and safe. And snaps the fuck out of it. Which I think is going to be my new motto. Snap the fuck out of it already. This is just ridiculous when it's right here in front of your fucking face. And you're like, I'm going to go vote for them. <laughs> you fucking retards. You wonder why the rest of the fucking nations are laughing at us and we're falling behind in mathematics and science and everything. And folks, you know, like I said, you know, here's a good one here. You know, act now. There you go. So pay attention to what's going on. Listen to the stuff that I put out there for you because I know a lot of people aren't. And you can't believe what you see on the television because they're all run by the government getting talking points from them. I'm going to be doing a lot more on this. I, you know, I couldn't talk about this all day long and people still wouldn't get it. So that's it for now. God bless and carry on.